our last quick tip, we use the what if analysis goal seek function in Excel to arrive at a specific number to find out how many water bottles we needed to sell in order to break even or reach a net profit of zero. That was assuming that we knew what our unit price was. What if we don't? What would happen if we sold 20,000 water bottles at $8? What if we sold 35,000 water bottles at $7? What if we sold 40,000 water bottles at $6.50? What if we wanted to see several different quantities sold at several different unit prices, all at the same time? The What If Analysis Data Table does just that. We're going to learn how to create a data table with various quantities sold at various unit prices. And we'll even give our table a fantastic look with a conditional formatting feature in our next quick tip. First, let's review this data so we can see how our formulas interact with each other. Revenue equals quantity multiplied by unit price. Fixed costs equal negative fixed costs. Variable costs equal quantity multiplied by negative unit cost. And net profit equals all three of these cells put together. And I've already pre-built the skeleton of the table with quantities ranging from 5,000 to 45,000 in 5,000 unit increments and unit prices ranging from $5 to $10 in 50 cent increments. This table will give us various net profits from these quantities and unit prices. In order to make sure this table populates net profits, we need to make sure that the upper left-hand corner of these axes is referencing the net profit. So set this cell equal to C13. Now indicate the boundaries of the table by dragging from one corner of the table to the other so that all the cells are highlighted. Next, go to the Data tab. Under Data Tools, click on What If Analysis and select Data Table. We need to tell the Data Table tool that the row inputs in our table represent various quantities. So mark the row input cell as quantity C2, and the column inputs represent various unit prices. So mark the column input cell as unit price, C5. Click OK. The calculations are performed instantly, with the table being populated. Now we can see different net profits resulting from different unit prices and quantities sold. And we can even see where the values cross from negative profits to positive profits, giving us a general break-even curve. We'll learn how to make this curve more visible while transforming this chart's appearance with the conditional formatting feature in our next quick tip. Now you know how to use the What If Analysis data table tool in Excel to show what various inputs will do, helping to make more complete decisions, like unit pricing.